now is the time in 2012 where it's like, am I going to become an Olympian? And at that time, I remember, you know, you're racing Michael Phelps in the hundred butterfly to try and make the team and, and, and many other great athletes, but one of the ones that put his hand up to say, Hey, I'm going to swim this event was Ryan Lochte and Ryan Lochte was just incredible uh, in 2012. I mean, he was just yeah. phenomenal. So for, for Lochte to say, I'm going to swim the hundred fly, there were a lot of people that were like, well, that's a lock. It's Phelps and Lochte and game yeah. over. Um, talk to us about, you know, the, anything you want to talk about in relation to qualifying for the team. Oh, wow. Um, if, if you don't go through that, that process as an athlete now, so anyone that's in a position where they can possibly make an Olympic team, if you don't go through that and at some point along the way, like experience a little bit of doubt or, a li- you know, question yourself a little bit, then you're like, you're not doing it right. Like everyone goes through that, you know, even, um, even the best athletes in the world at some point they've, is, is mentally tough as they can be. And, and when in the moment counts, like the, the strength of their mind and in, in that in them comes out and they perform and they get it done. But there are a million moments between that, that race and, and prior where your head talks to you, you know, and, and it tells you, oh, I don't know, can you get your hand on the wall? Can you, can you go that time? Can you, can you finish second? Um, and so a lot of our conversations before the meet were about like, don't set an expectation on what you can do. As soon as you start trying to get second place, then next thing you know, you're going to be in a battle for fifth. Um, you know, it, it approach this meet like you're trying to win the race and things like that. And so, I mean, but there was definitely these doubts of like, man, I got to beat Ryan and Michael. Um, how am I going to get that done? Um, and so, I mean, thankfully we had a really good talk before the meet and before the, the session that night of like, this is up, like, this is your choice. This is your decision to, to do this. Um, and I've gone back and I've looked at the interviews that I did directly after that meet and my mentality, like, I don't think I'll ever get back to the mentality that I had going into that finals race because there was no doubt like there was no questioning but there was a lot of it the 24 hours prior to that I mean I talked to the different USA doctors to kind of come up with a plan of like how to stay focused and this and that and um I mean I swam well in the prelims and well in the semifinals and was trying to talk myself through the process of like that's the prelims just get it done and remember after the semifinal, it stung a little bit and I didn't go nearly as fast as I wanted to. And now I'm starting to question like, okay, like, can I go 51-3 and 51-2 and make this meet and make the Olympics? And so for about 16 hours, there was just an incredible amount of doubt and questioning that was going into that. Um, But yeah, I mean, our, our conversation that morning before the finals as I'm warming up of like, hey, you've got you know, a a decision to make. Are you going to make this Olympic team or not? It's up to you. And, and then just go do it. And so, I mean, the next 12 hours kind of leading into the the final, it just kind of became this constant, I'm doing it. Like, I'm going to make it, I'm going to do it. And and slowly but surely, the, the positive side of what I was doing and what I was thinking took over to a point where, like I, I hardly remember anything from that evening. Um, I mean, very, very little from my, my preparation to the actual race itself because it was more of a mindset and a focus where the outcome was certain. Um, and obviously it happened, so I get to tell that side of the story. And there might be athletes that get to that point that don't win. It doesn't mean they, they weren't focused, but um, – you know, I was obviously fortunate enough to, to get my hand on the wall second and almost win the race and, and qualify for London. 